Hi, I'm Brian Schmidt, an astronomer here at the Australian National University. And I'm Paul Francis, and we'd like to welcome you to this course on the violent universe. In this course, we're going to go through all the most deadly places in space, ranging from white dwarf stars, supernovae, novae, pulsars, neutron stars, all the way up to giant black holes. I love this part of the course, Paul, because I study stars that explode and figure out how we can look at the universe itself with these stars. And I study the giant black holes that live in the middle of galaxies. This is close to both our hearts. To successfully undertake this course, you're going to have to have a working uh, level understanding of high school maths and physics. There'll be a little bit of calculus in some of the videos, but you won't actually need it to get any marks or answer any of the questions. What you will need to do is a lot of what we call back-of-the-envelope calculations. So a back-of-the-envelope calculation is where we try to estimate the physics of a problem to an order of magnitude, just to figure out whether or not it's interesting to pursue. There are two reasons we do this. One is to allow us to really focus on the core physics of what's going on without getting just bogged down in factors of 2 and pi and numerical details. Yeah, we don't care about details. factors of 2 in astronomy, do we? But the other reason is that it's a really important skill. When you're doing almost any research project, you discover something new in space, your first step is to do a back-of-the-envelope calculation. You're often sitting in the bar thinking, could it be this, could it be that? Quick calculation. Most of the ideas die immediately, and then if you get the few that survive that first step, you can then do the detailed calculation. So every day, Paul and I would go through, and when we have an idea, we do the back-of-the-envelope calculation to make sure it was a reasonable idea. You don't want to waste your life doing things that you know in a few seconds with the back-of-the-envelope calculation are wrong. Okay, so now let's start the course.